Te midde van reese groei in die digitale muziekmarkt is Siri steeds verantwoordelik vir so wat drie kwart van muziekverkoop in Zuid-Afrika. Maar, waar die rasse krofer van Sony Muziek Zuid-Afrika, oor vijf jaar sal die eens innoverende compacte skyf net 40% van die landse verkoop uitmaak. En toch kry jy jou bitter einders wat in die laaste loopgraaf veg in die oorlog tegen die MP3 en digitale muziek. I guess I just haven't made the leap, you know, towards you know, downloading. I think this is this for me is, is as close as it gets to the artist. I, I, I understand the whole digital thing, but I really love to I actually go out to, to shops and buy books. So with the same thing with CDs, I need I just have to have that connection. Is there um, sometimes a time where you think, oh my gosh, am I still going to be open next year? Yes, 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 it does. <laughs> I, I think of that every day, actually. Um, what motivates me a lot and the people I work with, um, it's, it's, our, it's our customers, our, our, our clientele. I mean, I still have my old um, 70s vinyl. I've been, I think I've got more than a thousand albums um, on vinyl, which, which I cannot even think of doing now. Ook in Kaapstad is een groeiende waardering vir plaatje van wel eer. When you have a record shop like this, you really have to send those your own taste. It's not about your own personal taste, because if you do that, you're going to have like about a shop with like about 20 records. So we just open to everything and we sell everything, and, and uh, it's amazing what people come in and ask for. I mean, that's what our attitude's been, is whatever's come in, we've used to stock our shop, and that's what it is. It's, if you had to go out and buy stuff to stock a shop, it wouldn't look anything like this, but this is what the universe has just brought into this, this space, and that's what we have, so... The DJ culture kept the records going. Without DJ culture, we wouldn't be standing here now. But it's the young guys, the guys who grew up the digital, the Tamagotchi generation. And what happened is, I think the digital generation, with everything available, all at the same time, whatever you want, whenever you want it, instant gratification becomes a little bit boring, okay? And then they find out, this young generation, that there's records, and you can actually put a needle on and it's a group, it's, a, it's an analog thing. It's called making time for yourself. Instead of taking your iPhone, so your iPod, and it's got 17,000 songs that you can listen to music for the rest of the year and not have to, you know. Suddenly you find a record and you have to put it on and you have to put on the needle and you sit down, a cup of coffee. Do you think this new trend is here to stay? Or do you think it's all just a phase for the next couple of months or years? Or? Honestly, I think it's here to stay because it's come back with such a vengeance, you know what I mean? A lot of record shops started closing down, a lot of record shops have closed down, but suddenly with the internet and people trading around the world, and we, we call, I call the shop the cultural cockroach, they just can't stamp out because we were all over the place and they kept like kicking us out of shops and, and we kept scuttling to another shop and now we established and now everyone likes us and everyone thinks record shops are cool. But records as a subculture are back and I mean they're counting for quite a lot of sales in the music industry now, which is pretty weird. You know, CD sales are down, vinyl sales are up. I think it's here to stay.